Hi everyone, this is Gail. I've had a couple of people ask me how I take my digital files and pick one image out of the files and make duplicates of that one image rather than having to make copies of all of the images on the file. So I just thought I would do a short tutorial just to show you how I do it. Now I use Inkscape, which is a free editing program that I downloaded off the internet and it's, you know, like I said, it's free and I find it very easy to use. So here we go. This is Inkscape. I'm going to go up to File, Open, and then I'm going to select the file that I want and I'm going to pick Open a PDF. You'll see this window pop up. You just click OK. Now for some reason my Inkscape reverts down to a small box and I have to, you know, like reduce it down and then back up and then it's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the image, the entire image. So I go up to edit, select all, and you'll see the little arrows around it, which shows you that it's uh, selected the entire image. Then I'm going to go into one of the pictures. I keep missing it. And then you will find the ungroup. So you'll watch this and it will ungroup everything. Sometimes you have to do it twice for some reason. I don't know why, but I just will pick ungroup again. And you will see the, uh, if you take your pointer and click off of the picture, and then back into the picture. I'm sorry, I tried this several times and it finally worked. Now you'll see little boxes around the Im different images. That shows you that it's all ungrouped. So now you can pick the parts that you don't want and delete them. And I'm going to See, that's going, all right, let me go back. I'm deleting bits and pieces, and I want to do the whole thing. But you notice the blue bar that goes around the center. That moves off. Just click Delete. Then you can use your arrow to, your pointer to select the ones, things that you do not want, and just click the Delete button. And we don't want those, don't want those. I'm not going to use that image. So I'm deleting that. I don't want that image, so I'm deleting that. And then I decided to use the one at the bottom, so I selected that one. But now I'm going to select this whole image, and it's in little bits and pieces. But then I'm going to go back to Object and then Group. I'm going to group it back into one file. Now you can see it's all one file. I can move the whole thing. So I just move it to where I want it, right click on it and choose copy, then click off of it, and then click paste, and one will show, you know, a copy of it will paste on your sheet. My computer's a little slow today. I think there's an update going on. Now, I was going to try to get three in there, but it looks like it's going to be too crowded. So I think I'll just do three rows of two images each. And you want to get, leave enough of a margin on the edges. You'll see that I've changed, I moved these a little bit because I've decided I wanted to leave a little bit more margin on the sides. And that's so your scan and cut can make sure, you know, can get the edges properly. Of course, if you want to use your scan and cut, you would probably use the one with the cut lines around it. But if you're cutting it out by hand, this one works fine. But I will download, I'll just copy and paste six of these. And then when I'm finished, I will just save it. And I, I will save it back as a PDF just because I, I find PDFs are easier to work with. 
and just name it another name and then you've got a sheet of six of your images that you can just make copies so instead of having to make say if you need 20 instead of making 20 copies of the entire um, the entire file you can take this one uh, 20 probably wasn't a good number but three would be 18 so if you wanted 20 you would only have to print four of these and you would end up with 24 um, of that image so I hope this helps you um, I know it was just a quick simple see here I'm going to file and do a save as no I think what I did first I grouped it back see here if you look at that that six individual files so then I'm going to group the whole thing and you'll see those little boxes will disappear and it puts it back into one big file with six um, six images on it there you see it all switched back to the one file so just go ahead and do a file save as sorry about that it's a robo call And I'm just going to save it as single. And now that file will be in, and I, here's where I change it to a PDF. It, the default in this is to save it as an SVG. And if you want to save it as an SVG, that's fine. But I just choose to save it as a PDF because I think they're easier to work with. So I hope this helps. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to show you. I don't know a lot. I'm not an expert, but I can try. Thanks.